हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सीएम आसेट एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल सो लेट्स सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन टू वॉच लेटेस्ट अपडेटेड वीडियो फर्स्टली वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व गॉस एडल इटरेशन मेथड यूजिंग क्लास विज कैलकुलेटर बाय लर्निंग दिस मेथड वी कैन सॉल्व गॉस एडल इटरेशन मेथड इन अ मिनट बाय यूजिंग दिस कैलकुलेटर क्लास विज कैलकुलेटर मीन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ कैलकुलेटर so let's uh, start our problem the question will be like this the question will contain the number of uh, four number of equation and and in the question it is clearly mentioned that we have to do iteration up to the three decimal point matches so this is the four equation now for the solution we have to convert this equation in this form in this form that is for the first equation we have to convert in terms of x1 and for the second equation we have to terms of, we have to convert in terms of x2 in this form and uh, and for the uh, other two equation we have to convert in the similar way then for the calculation in the calculator we have to consider this thing that is the variable in the form of this equation that is x1 x2 x3 and x4 we have to consider a b c and d in this calculator to solve in this calculator so after this we have to write in this form in the calculator to solve this equation in a minute with this uh, single expression we have to just write Uh, a b c and d in terms of x1 x2 x3 and x4 in this form in the calculator then after this we have to draw this type of table in our notebook the first column will contain the number of iteration in the second column third column fourth column and in the fifth column it will contain the value of the variable and in the calculator the value that we obtain from obtain from the variable a will be the value of x1 because in this condition we have we have considered that x1 is equal to a and for the uh, other three variable we have considered in the similar way that is b c and d will denote the value for x2 x3 and x4 variable so let's uh, so let's uh, type this equation in this calculator this way just flow my uh, method or flow my step to type this uh, equation or this uh, expression in this calculator so let's do it at first we have to press alpha then a again alpha then have to this symbol this is symbol to separate the equation the alpha b alpha is this symbol alpha c alpha the symbol alpha d then alpha again alpha then again the symbol then again alpha you see now we have this at this point now have to now we have to insert the equal to sign by the in this way alpha equal to then we have to insert the symbol and in the denominator we have to have this expression and in the denominator we have to have this value that is 10 then for the name, Then for the denominator, we have the value that is three. In the from this equation, we can get the value three plus two alpha b plus alpha and d. Then in the numerator, the value will be ten. You can see from here. Then this button, then separator, then alpha b alpha equal to again the symbol. And for this second expression, this expression we have to write here: fifteen plus two alpha a, and plus um, alpha c plus alpha d. In the numerator, we have to write ten. And again, this in the similar way, we have to type this. Uh, Other two expression 
alpha c alpha equal to twenty seven plus a plus b plus two d two d Symbol, symbol, minus <coughs> nine plus one plus b plus two c millimeter ten. Just we have got this expression by by substituting the value of x. 1 x2 x3 x4 in this in this form and we have got this value from this form uh, in this form just by replacing the value of x1 x2 x3 and x4 by a b c d then by writing in the calculator just we have to press this button calc button after this uh, for solving gauss et al iteration method for the initial case, the value for the variable x1, x2, x3, and x4 will be 0. So, at, at first, we have to write 0 for a, b, c, and d, 0. That is, a, b, and c will denote the value for x1, x2, and x3, and x4. So, just type 0, then equal to 0, equal to 0, equal to and the last term d that is x2 0 equal to then equal to then it will show the value that we have just type for the variable a b and c and d then it will show the value in this way then after this it will show the value for this equation this equation and for the next step it will show this value and then again this value and this again then again at last it will show the value for this expression and for this expression means for this expression and, uh, and the value for a mean value for x1 so we have to write this value in this uh, table in our notebook then after this then again press equal to button then you can see the value is matching for the iteration 1 then again press equal to button then you got the value for x3 then again press equal to button then you can get the value for 0 0.1368 uh, for the variable x4 that is d from the calculator and in a similar way, we can find uh, other this value of iteration. We don't have to change any value for the further iteration. Just we have to press equal to button for the calculation till the till the number after the decimal will, will match up to the three decimal point in this way. Equal to just press equal to equal to equal to equal to equal to. Then it will show the updated value for a. We don't have to write anything afterward just we have to press equal to button then then you can get the value for every variable for each iteration in this way just press equal to button then for the d variable in this way so so by following this step we can get the value for the all the iteration then uh, then after <coughs> doing this we get the value for the fifth and sixth and sixth iteration in this way that is for the fifth and sixth iteration iteration uh, the number is matching up to three decimal point we can see from this table that is for the fifth and sixth the up to the three decimal point after this decimal is matching for the two iteration so we have to stop our iteration uh, at this place so the final value of x1 variable x2 variable x3 variable and x5 variable from this table will be like this from this table so in this way we can solve gauss shadow integration method by using a classroom calculator or any other calculator within a minute so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much